Hey everyone, Nick from Nick's Crossing here. Welcome back to the train room for an awesome unboxing video. Guys, just got home from being on the road with work on the railroad and I picked up this awesome Vision Line boxcar. There we go, the right way right here. And this is just not any old boxcar. This is the Maryland and Pennsylvania boxcar that I've been looking for for over a year now. So let's get this car opened up and running, let's see what it can offer. So here we go guys, all aboard. All right, guys, so I found my dream box car in New Jersey, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. What's a Mapa car doing up in New Jersey? I have no idea, but I um, ended up finding this car in Ewing Township. There's a train shop called Trains and Things. It's actually heavily recommended by my buddy Sean Dockman from Dockman Productions. And he was like, dude, you got to check out the shop. They get new things in there all the time. And I walked in the shop. I was like in train wonderland, train heaven. There's just trains everywhere. And all of it is, well, I'd say 90% of the store is O-gauge, O-scale. Man, I was just in heaven. So I'm like, man, it's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel from working away from home uh, on a railroad travel gang. So I uh, got to go to a train shop while technically during work week. So uh, it's kind of nice, nice break away from the hotel room, uh, all four walls, things like that. But anyways, guys, I picked up this Vision Line car for an excellent price. Gave me a great deal on it and included in that whole bundle of stuff I picked up. Also picked up this awesome Lionel Railroader lines. Looks like the old uh, Great Western logo right there. This thing's a full scale covered hopper. Uh, love the artwork. Uh, it's got the blue and the orange Lionel right there. So uh, picked that up for an excellent price and also an accessory that we'll be doing a full review on as well for the station. So uh, give a little bit of hint right there. But anyways guys, awesome train shop. Got this back to the room. I was like, man, I can't wait to go home and unbox this. So let's get this on the track. Let's program this thing. Let's go through it together. Here it is in the flesh. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna power up our track. I'm using a cab one remote because I'm a dinosaur and I can't afford a legacy base. So let's get this cab, let's see, track two fired up here. All right, so we are fired up, we got power. So we're gonna program this. There's a run program switch on the bottom, just like your TMCC locomotive. So we're gonna program this as an engine. So ENG, let's just call it, we got 5624, let's call it number five. Engine five, set. All right, there we go. So this car is programmed, let me turn the power off. And underneath guys, just like your TMCC engines, like I said, there's a run program. So I'll give you a view of that just in a second here. All right, so now we're in run mode. So on the bottom of this, two different switches. Run program, the top right, and then to your left, min and max. So basically, these are like your typical sound cars. Um, it's gonna have like your different like screeching sounds or shift of load sounds, things like that. All right guys, our car is programmed and this thing is just a beautiful car. So much detail in here. Got all kinds of like grab irons, ladders and such on the roof separate grab irons. We actually have an electric coupler on the rear of the car back here. Typical uh, release coupler here. Uh, the door opens up. Uh, you can kind of see the electronics in there. But just a really nice car with sprung trucks. I just can't get over that. And there is a load in there shifting around. So guys, we're gonna go through the uh, Cab One remote settings that I have access to. With the Legacy remote, you can do a little bit more with this car. You can actually add this to a lash up or to your train to run uh, in a sequence or anything like that. So a little bit different using the cab one dinosaur that I have right here, but this car works beautifully with TMCC. So guys, we're gonna hit ENG five. The whistle sound does like this uh, door closing sound. And we're gonna hit aux one. And that's that brake sound you get in the manual it says that. And we actually have a list of cab one settings right here. So we're not too far off. So anyways guys, with the Cab One remote, we have a ton of really cool settings. So volume up, then volume down, you get a bell sound, volume up, that's hitting number one, and then volume down is number four. Uh, selector two button, this is really cool. I was messing with this off camera. If you hit number two while the car is moving, you hear that flat spot? And then when the car stops, this is really interesting. Watch this. My wheel's fixed. You can head out now. 
then the flat wheel spot um, sounds stop. So. I just thought that was so cool. So the guy actually fixed the flat spot. So when you run out again, the flat spot sounds are off, which I think is just such a cool feature with this piece. So that's when you hit number two while the car is moving. It says that in the instructions. So um, number zero is to reset the car entirely. So we don't want to do that right now. Uh, number three button is your load in scenarios one, two, and three. So let's hit number three. All right, we need to make some room for these additional crates. Make sure these stacks are stable and the inspector is on his way. Well, you box me in again. And when I've, from what I've heard about these cars, number three makes the uh, work a little bit more aggressive. Number six, which is below number three on the TMCC remote, makes the work kind of ease up and a little bit more rewarding to the workers. So let's hit number three again. There's more pals to add, so let's make sure things are stacked right and tight. Right, right, close this and open up the next car. Well, you box me in again. There's more pals to add, so let's make sure things are stacked right and tight. Alright, let's move these into the next car. This one's full. Yes, sir. Next stop, same as the last. That's three more pallets, right? Yeah, that's what I'm counting. Make sure these stacks are stable. The inspector is on his way. Bunch of different well, scenarios. Box me in again. Alright, we need to make some room for these additional crates. Alright, so number six, let's do that. Alright, let's move these into the next car. This one's full. Yes, sir. Start unloading from the left. So number six are unloading. Let's sweep off those ramps too. Three is loading, which I think is really cool. That's how it's done. Okay guys, let's move. Keep sweeping out that dirt. Alrighty, we got empty cars and we're on time. Nice. Start unloading from the so left. So the whole cycle kind of starts over with three Let's and six. Let's sweep off those ramps so too. Three is loading. Alrighty, we got empty six cars. Six is unloading. We're on time. All right, guys. So the next one is. It says bell has no sound at all. So I don't know why they put that in here. Uh, but the whistle does a. It's called a. Um, what do they call it? It's a deeper metallic air release sound. I'm not making this up. Right there. Deeper metallic air release sound. There it is, right there. Alright. Awesome. Then my favorite feature of this car, operation-wise, is the electric coupler in the back. So, let's close that. If it will close. Let's see. And there it goes. It sounds just like that post-war decoupler. Yeah. So, this car has a lot of really cool features. So, you could be running, you could let the car in a siding or something like that, or leave the whole train in a siding, and then let the train go on its way. Guys, I can't forget the rolling sounds. Okay, the load shift. So the more aggressive your track is, the more this thing's going to sing and make sounds. So if it's just really gentle, but then if you have a bump, it sounds like stuff's actually like knocking around in this car. So guys, this is not my first sound car. I actually bought a um, Penn Central sound car from Nicholas Smith over a year ago. And this Mapa car sounds so much better than this one. So check this one out. This is the flat spot box car. This one's just not as responsive. Um, these sold for like a hundred bucks or so. I know these sold for a lot more of the legacy ones. But it's just a little bit of a different sound set. Some of the things are similar, but the uh, Mapa car just sounds so much better. So you do get the money's worth out of these legacy sound cars. All right, guys, there's only one more thing to do before this unboxing video is completed. So we're actually going to run this box car with the other car I picked up from uh, Trains and Things right here. Put that last up there beautiful car and then also we're going to run it with of course my Mapa bobber caboose they actually did a video on not too long ago if you guys are interested check out the description for this car i did some modifications also painted the inside um not the correct colors it's funny after doing the video for this um this caboose right here the bobber caboose 
someone actually reached out from the historical society and said the interior of that caboose was actually red and not green. So had a little bit of an art project there, but it does look really good on the inside, I promise. And that's actually a really cool video. Um, these are kind of expensive. And I was just kind of talking my piece about the newer Lionel stuff that's coming out. I don't think it's as quality as the MTH bobber cabooses that came out several years ago for around half the price for the caboose. So if you're interested in that video, make sure to check that out in the description as well. So guys, we're gonna run these awesome cars. I'm probably gonna hook up my, uh, my little o, 040 Pennsylvania switcher and get her rocking and rolling.
guys, that's going to do it for this unboxing video. Unboxing this beautiful Lionel Vision Line box car. And this thing is just awesome. Even though it's from 2021, uh, it still holds that Vision Line standard. Such a beautiful car. Love all the different settings. And my favorite setting of them all is that flat spot sound. As soon as it stops, the guy's like, you know, fix that flat spot, good to go. I just think that is just such a cool feature. Lionel added this car to make it, you know, on the. it's really high on the playability scale. Let's just say that. Uh, I have seen other cars, like my buddy Sean from Sean's Train Depot has the uh, the pacemaker car. It's like, oh, this says fragile, and he like drops it or whatever. It's just kind of funny. So uh, it's just a really cool car. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you're new to the channel, always consider subscribing. Giving the video one of these really helps, and love reading those comments. Till next time, everyone, be safe out there. Happy railroading, and we'll see you next time. See you guys.